Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Adrian Odyssey. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we adventured down to the 19th floor of Igdraz Labyrinth. We met a lot of teleporters here and we went back again to, to turn in the items because we had a full inventory and we accepted a couple new quests. Now we are to, we are to investigate the 18th floor or uh, to be precise the monsters on the 18th floor during night time because there's apparently some that only appear during night time which is nice to know and we are to be petrified we're supposed to get petrified and go to the medics into to kept apothecary with petrification that is our quest currently so we're gonna try and do that i don't know what happens first you know the the random monsters or the petrification but i am up for anything Let's go. I, I specifically specifically waited for night time to come around. Now I'll actually check which way is faster. This way is hardly faster, right? Can't be faster. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Gee. Can I go back. That goes that way. I didn't know. Fell for it. I fell for it. Okay, there is only one way to the exit. We'll warp back and then we'll do a wait. Chuckles leveled up at some point. She has over 200 HP. Let's see if I have idle skill points. You know paranoia, you know it by now. I'm not only obsessive, I'm also a very paranoid pa person and I'm a dumbass. So, as you can see, one skill point to be spent. I spent those on trickery so far and now we went with the disable bind rate up i could go for the stun chance on the palon which is very very nice i don't know why i'm not doing it but i guess we're doing this tp12 owl eye is just far away foes two squares that is not worthwhile two squares is not worthwhile I would like a very good stalker, but not on not on Keenan. A Palon. It's a very nice attack for damage upgrade and stun rate. But we don't know what this able is able to do. I want to see this able level five. It's a very cheap shot at that. Not in the bad way of the word. Do 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 do. I'd rather not engage in combat here, if 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 it at all if at all possible. But at, we know we both both know that that is not possible. We're just gonna skip through these fights quickly, though. I could actually spend my TP completely freely because there is that restoration point that is very easily reachable, but that is okay. On the in the third stratum, that restoration point was by far like uh, that was not very well reachable. But here you can just you, know, you can just go back and forth every time. It is not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Our buckles about to level up. Chuckles. I, I noticed that Keenan ha that Barracus has an unspent skill point. Chuckles does not. Fair enough. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go down though. And we are to look for those nighttime monsters on the 18th floor. 
Maybe the sick sick woods respawned. That would be nice. I think they only um, add, like they only appear when you go near them, so we wouldn't be able to see them right now. But <clears throat> in general, I'd really like to know. If you're concerned about our time running out, you know how slow, slowly the time advances in this game. Every 30 steps or turns, the time like the clock advances for one hour, which is quite slow. That is quite slow. I think in this room there was a tree. No. And I should go the full full loop just to find out. Because by now it's f possible for them to have respawned. I thought that this was gonna be faster doing the tornado and the Thor, but it's it's not faster, but it is TP consumed or or it saves me a couple of TP because um the the shocker is not the shocker is more costly than the tornado currently. What was I going for with our buckle? On guard. Let's hope that's good because I have never seen that proc, not even once. I don't know if it has proc and I was just ignorant, but um, if you have seen it, you, you let me know because I think I have not seen it. There was a tree there. They have not respawned. By the way, um, every time you comment, please put a time there because if you comment to something and um, I, I do not know what it's related to. I generally get very confused about a comment like, Oh, I saw it. If you say that completely out of context, I will not know what's up. And keep in mind, I recorded this probably, oh, by the time you see this, four, month, uh, four months will have passed because this is such a long series and I only uploaded an episode per day. For, this was four months ago. Do you think my memory, do you have that much confidence in my memory that I'll be able to remember what I talked about in one random episode of this? And every, every episode, frankly, probably looks the same. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But that's that's how I feel right now. I, 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 it takes 10 minutes to go down every time. It probably looks the same every time. That still... That makes no matter. I am not that good at remembering things. If you comment about something, I'd very much appreciate you putting a timer there. Because you're already one of my most dedicated viewers already. So if you put a timer there, like I, I've got a fellow um, um, a fellow Let's Play of mine, also a friend of mine, Keenan, who is a part of my party. If he comments on something, he usually puts a timer. And if I comment on something of his I also do the same because it just makes sense because it's hard to be a let's player and to have an episode and you know if there's a comment you will you will just watch through the entire episode trying to find what that is related to it's hard it's hard we just want to level up Keen. that's what I did autopilot is probably a smarter version of me than normal Eric because he just went into the menu the right there I could Upgrade Hellcry, not that I ever use it. I'll invest into Shocker because I want to see what level 5 does. And the TP cost doesn't interest me because the TP cost is already at maximum. Where in the world did you guys come from? Oh no, you are... Are all of these Yggdrasil buds? Come on. Kinda trick ya. There you go. These can't all be hex toads. Hex toad. The other one was hex frog. This guy's different. This guy is different. I'm gonna use Shocker. I'm also going to use Refresh. Because Hextoad does not sound like a bro. I'm 
gonna underestimate him for now. I don't think these guys are super strong. That was not impressive. They have a fair bit of HP. They do that. 2,000. Oh, that's the extent of it, though. No, I used Shocker. Bad idea. This time he hexed me. Hex Toad. Do they just have their set path? It doesn't look like it. And if so, that's very strange. We'll engage a couple of them. Just a couple, because we did not get the drop. No thanks, not right now. I'm busy. I'm busy. Let us heal up. And you down there, you are stuck in a corner. Night Toad. These guys were able to bind me. Normal attack doesn't do a whole lot. I can't believe I'm not able to take care of one of these guys in one turn. That blows. That is not cool. They don't drop anything. Night Toad. What else? You dear. Come at me. Yeah, they just patrol their routes. More Night Toad. Try and take care of him in one turn. How? Multi is ma max damage already, and Thunder is max damage already. I don't have anything better. They poison me. I could do it. That was a very... Uh, I, I got lucky in terms of the damage roll on Keenan, but... Hmm. Nope. Sliver of health left. Okay, fair enough. I'll use the refresh every time. Did you drop anything? Why not? So what am I gonna what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna I'm supposed to slaughter them all? This poor frog culture? Or am I supposed to find out about the one guy who's different? Maybe try a little something clever. What does this do? Have never seen the frost strike either. Ice formula doesn't do much. Freezer doesn't do much. I do not know why I'm so stingy with my TP. I don't. I cannot give you a, re a reason. We're gonna deal with all these foes and then we are going to try to get ourselves... What? Then we'll try to get ourselves... Petrified. And how do I do that? I engage a fairy and leave the fairy alive and defend and defend and defend and defend and defend and defend and defend. That's what I do. Great strat. Great strat. Keep an eye out for all the toads. So many night toads, though. So many. The worst is they don't give much. They don't give much experience. The, they do not give a whole lot of... Um, items. No, no, nothing I can profit from. I don't know why I'm fighting these. 
Under no normal circumstances, I probably wouldn't engage these guys. Thunder didn't make anything drop either. Hmm. As far as I can tell, there's two remaining. The hex frogs are different. No, they're not. Nice preemptive. I will use Shocker again. Self 2. We are not able to engage these or to finish these guys off in round one round. Actually, we are with a boost. Boost is enough of a damage increase that that'll work out. These guys do not deserve their large amount of health. They don't. Okay, one more. It's 1 a.m. and we're gonna have to do this before 5 a.m. One more hexy toad. At least it's not a sexy toad. I don't know why I just said that. We are not gonna defend. Multi-hit and thunder again. I hope this works out, but it probably doesn't. Eric. Eric, you're up. Eric, you're up. Oh, that could have ended horribly. Barricus would have died if Eric wouldn't have done this fast enough. If he would have gotten cursed. That would have been Barricus's end. Sliver of health from You do not use Shocker. Sliver of health remaining. Unbelievable. Should be the last one. You successfully exterminated the Night Toads and Hex Toads. Well, why though? I don't understand. I do not understand why that had to happen. Now let's get ourselves petrified. Shall we? It might take a while. No Cruella's back, no, no, no Diabolics. Diabolics. Let's hope they don't petrify Chuckles, because Chuckles needs to use Teleport. Two fairies. Higher chance for a successful petrification. Shine, blind, and sleep. And we're all going to defend now. Slumber. Slumber. Slumber does not hit Eric. We're going to wake everybody up because we're waiting for the petrification and not and not uh, being put to sleep and blinded. No effect on Eric, fair enough. Arbuckle has been petrified. That is what I was waiting for. You can use multi-hit and we can get out again. Because the theory behind that quest is we are... They develop the new medicine for... Um, a new cure for petrification, but they have to test it out on human subjects because... Um, if they don't have anybody petrified, they cannot. They can hardly um, test out their cure against petrification. You suddenly remember the case you accept the pub, the one about the experimental medicine about curing petrification. Fortunately or unfortunately, one of your party members has been petrified by a monster. You decide to turn ill luck into good by returning to the pub with your petrified comrade. Let's. We're, we're carrying Arbuckle around as a stone statue now. Caft Apothecary. Oh, we've got to go to the pub. Fine. Report results. Apothecary's request number one completed. Obtain stone or two. Ah, uh, seeing someone petrified is worse than I imagined. Let's get this poor kid patched up. 
Oh my, looks like that kid's medicine has a few kinks to it to work out. You can't blame her for trying though, I guess medicine can't advance vo without volunteers. And hey, now she's one step closer to treating petrified explorers for real. Still, I hope Dr. Hoffman's bill to cure your friend isn't too high. Ha 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 Versus the unknown. Completed. Obtain 2,300 credits. Welcome back, kids. Beat the monsters, did ya? Our client will be relieved, I'm sure. Then again, if he's attacked by a different monster, this will was all for nothing. I have a new request. Apothecary's request number two. A trainee at Kevd Apothecary needs the limb of a large bird in order to develop a new medicine. Decided to take the request. A young medic at Kevd asked me to find someone to retrieve a bird limb for his medicine. You can get it from Moas. It's very useful, f useful stuff. Most people around here use it. Should be a piece of cake for you, right? Good luck. Yep, that will be a piece of cake. Even with a petrified dude, I will actually do that right now. No, no, wrong place. Wrong place, wrong time. I'll go get that right now, because we just need to teleport down to the second stratum. Every time I step in the wrong direction. I have pretty high item drop rate, so in general I should get this, I should get my hands on that pretty easily. Hello, Mr. Moa. You engaged me last time you did. Uh, you should probably use refresh. You can defend so the refresh actually works. Yeah, yeah, Arbuckle is actually petrified. Now it, it, he's not. Nice. That refreshing skill with a removal of petrification is so good. Okay, Mr. Moa. It's time. It's time we had a little talk. One bird leg, please, Mr. Man. One bird leg. Only one. Don't even need to rush at me. Only one bird leg, please. Jesus. One multi is enough to take care of that guy. Bird limb, nice. Obtained the requested bird limb. That was easy. Dance of the fairies. Yeah, they are not dancing anymore. They are not dancing anymore. Let's turn that in. Report results. Apothecary's request number two completed. Obtained Zoma. Welcome back, kids. Glad you were able to get a hold of that stuff. Uh, it makes for some great medicine. It's in your interests, too, for them to create new medicine. Anyway, thanks for doing it. New? Yeah. Apothecary's request number three. A trainee at Keft Apothecary needs a specimen of Cordyceps in order to perform his new medicine. Soma Prime. Accepted the task. Decided to take the request, have you? A young medic at Keft Apothecary has asked me to obtain a med med medicinal mushroom. He looks for a very rare mushroom called Cordyceps. They, they used to be found in the higher floors of the labyrinth, but no one's found any lately. That's why he needs you to head deeper into the forest to see if they are, there are any there. I know it'll be dangerous, but a lot of people would benefit from this. Good luck. I know where to get that, but I'll not get that in this episode. I will sell all my equipment. Not all my equipment. I will sell all my stuff here. Um, we have fairy wings. We have tendons. One pure root. A couple of white fangs. I'm not going to get anything out of this, but still, I might as well sell them. And then we are going to heal up and save the game. Sleep. Yes. And save it. And for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.